Let's see what's line focus principle and heel effect of X-ray tube. Full video on structure types and factors governing X-ray tube is on our YouTube channel. Please watch those videos before this. It operates. Anode, usually the rotating anode is kept at an angle of 6 to 20 degrees, which is also called as a target angle in order to focus the primary beam towards the patient. The electron hits the target at the focal spot, but this focal spot when visualized from down from the angle of patient, the effective spot will be smaller than the actual focal spot and this principle is called line focus principle. As in when the target angle decreases from 20 degrees to 6 degrees, the effective focal spot size also decreases. Now here we can see the smaller the angle, smaller the effective focal spot. Now the second principle is called the heel effect. It means the intensity of X-ray that primary beam which is produced is not uniform throughout the beam. The intensity varies. Here is the cathode anode and once the primary beam is produced, there are two sides for the beam. Anode side of the beam where it is less intense and cathode side of the beam will have more intense X-rays. The strength or quality of the X-ray beam produced will look something like this. More intense towards cathode side and less intense towards anode side. The reason for this being self-attenuation of the primary X-ray beam produced by the anode itself that makes it less intense towards anode side and more intense towards the cathode side. What are the clinical aspects or applications of this heel effect? Heel effect is less when smaller films are used or when larger film to focus distance is used. So if you are placing the patient, thin part has to be placed towards anode and thicker part has to be placed towards cathode towards high intensity.